Hey everybody, welcome to JLB Sports TV. I am Justin Block, and today I saw some pictures on the internet of a Liverpool fan protest. Now, as we all know, Rafa Benitez has been sacked by the Liverpool board. He, uh, he was bought out for three million pounds, and today, in response, Liverpool fans held a protest. That's great, you know, got to protest against the owners, get your voices out, let it be known that we want Rafa. Well, instead of doing that, it became a hate protest in which American flags were burned. Now, I'm not the most patriotic American. You won't see me waving a flag around and I don't have flags anywhere. I'm, I'm just not that patriotic, but I find the fact that at a Liverpool protest, which was supposed to be protesting the sacking of Rafa Benitez, not the owners themselves, I found the fact that American flags were being burned horribly distasteful, disgusting, and highly offensive. Now, in the past, the motto of Liverpool fans against the owners has been Yanks out, no more Yanks, you know, you want those Yanks out. We're, well, to be honest with you, being American has nothing to do with the fact that these owners are just incompetent. Instead of saying Yanks out, why don't we just say Gillette and Hicks out? Because being American has nothing to do with the fact that this team is being driven into the ground. You can uh, bring up all the stereotypes you want against Americans, but at the end of the day, these two are just incompetent idiots. They just happen to be American. I bet if you went to a Manchester United fan protest against the Glazer family, they wouldn't be burning American flags. They wouldn't be shouting, Yanks out, no more Yanks. And that's why I find it so sad that my fellow Liverpool supporters in England are burning American flags. I mean, they're not Muslim radical extremists. This isn't 1980s Iran. This is in Liverpool. American flags are burning on the street. That is completely unacceptable. And I found it even stranger that on the Liverpool Football Club Facebook page, which I follow and I check every so often, that these pictures were posted as if, like, it was a good thing, as if there was nothing wrong with this behavior. There was so much wrong with this behavior, I cannot express this in, like, in words. But aside from the whole flag burning business, which is disgusting and distasteful, I think it should be honestly be no surprise that Rafa Benitez is fired. You know why? Because we have American owners. Because in American sports, especially in baseball and football and basketball, this is the, in, in American sports, the attitude is, what have you done for me lately? Teams fire their managers all the time, even if a team is coming off of a successful season. Uh, a team can win a Super Bowl one year, or a World Series one year, and literally two years later, fire the manager if they haven't lived up to expectations. Um, the New York Yankees baseball club made the playoffs uh, well, 13 years in a row, and, but they didn't win the World Series for like five or six or seven years in a row. They still made it to the playoffs, which would be good enough for most, cl most clubs, but because it's the Yankees, and above all, because it's an American team, they fired their manager, Joe Torre, who is one of the greatest managers of all time. This also happens in soccer. Look across the pond, look at Real Madrid. Manuel Pellegrini coming off of 96 points, a great season at Real Madrid, except for there's two slip-ups slip against Barcelona, and they're uh, crashing out of the Champions League. By all means, they had a great season. They had one of the best seasons in Real Madrid history. But you know what? They still fired the man. And Chelsea, if you look back two years, a couple years ago when they were in the Champions League final, Avram Grant, he was their manager. They lose on penalty shootouts, which we all know is just a simple roll of the dice. It's, you, a manager has no control over whether his team wins the penalty shootout or not. Yet, they still fired him. So this is a trend, especially not only in American sports, where it's... Where it's uh, a what have you done for me lately attitude that most American fans and owners have, but it's also with the bigger clubs in Europe. And I think that is highly injurious to all clubs because especially in soccer, uh, having a good manager and having consistency and cohesiveness at the managerial position is so very important because not only are you getting rid of a manager, but you're getting rid of his staff, you're getting rid of the system, you're bringing in a whole new staff and system that these players have to relearn over the summer. Liverpool next season, again, has high expectations. Why? Because they're, the big, they're one of the big four clubs. They're one of the most prestigious clubs in the entire world. Every season, year in and year out, you expect Liverpool to compete for trophies. So once again, next season, Liverpool players are going to have to relearn whatever the system, whatever new manager comes in, and who knows who that be? Nobody knows who that be. And uh, I, I, I have to say, I'm not really looking forward to next season. Obviously, I'm looking forward to it because I love seeing the club play, but in terms of results, it's going to be pretty disastrous, if you ask me. Um, so that's all for today of JLB Sports TV. I just want to hit on the topic. I think the American flag burial was t distasteful, disgusting, offensive, and it's just not the right way to go about protesting. And the fact that this is the trend of hiring managers is 
no surprise seeing how we have American owners and Martin Brighton, who's the the Liverpool, the new Liverpool president and chairman, whatever. He's a Chelsea fan, so obviously, you know, he has that attitude of "What have you done for me lately?" So I guess that's all for today for, for JLB Sports TV. Thanks for watching, and Rafa, we trust YNWA, and um, and the comments below. I want to know what you think of the flag burning and who you think Liverpool's next manager will be. If you have any ideas, because I personally have no idea. Thanks, guys. And just some perspective for you English fans who may still support this flag burning. What if, what if my favorite football team, the Green Bay Packers, was somehow owned and operated by a British chairman or a British president? And say these Packer fans, these NFL Packer fans, were burning British flags. How would you feel about that?